Hey everybody, um, I wanted to take a minute to show you guys something. So, um, last deer season I discovered uh, what Lespedesia was and the um, reason for it is I had a, I've, I've had a, a lot of good experiences during bow season with a lot of bucks that um, and deer in general that just love to eat the tops of the Lespedesia. Um, and it's, it's commonly overlooked um, by most hunters, but it's very easy to grow. It's very tolerant of, of crappy soil. Um, of course, you fertilize and lime it, the deer love it even more. But they eat, they'll eat as much as is out there. Uh, there was some on a power line, and um, there was nothing to see five, six, seven deer out there at the same time together eating in that area. Um, but this is what it looks like when it's young. Um, so the growth, you can see this is new growth from this year. Um, some of the tops you can see like right there been picked off by some deer at some point but um, in here and here but what you see here is new growth coming up and the deer really like this stuff it gets about four or five foot high the deer can can stand in it and feed and and feel secure and uh, at the end of season after everything dies off what it does is it leaves it'll leave stems like this but they'll be you know however big your your plant was this is what it'll uh, it'll be uh, it'll look like this but it'll all have stems stems like this from from the year before and you just bush hog it and it'll come right back it gets a seed head on it in late fall you can bush hog it if you want to reseed it you can use it for hay or for cows whichever you like um, but uh, that was just something I figured I'd share with you guys it's relatively cheap and it's easy to grow it's like I said it's drought tolerant it, it you can grow it in any type of soil you want to throw it on damn red clay you can throw it on red clay it's gonna grow